Now that the spooky season is officially underway, it's the perfect time to relive some of the spookiest scares from one of the most talked about titles of the year, The Last of Us Part Two. Be prepared as we jump into the five scariest moments in The Last of Us Part Two. The first Last of Us had its fair share of pop-ups, but unlike it, the second installment treads lightly on those types of frights. But despite the limited abundance, Naughty Dog delivers when surprise scares are presented, especially along Abby's journey to the aquarium. Up until this point in the game, players had to trek under trucks, maneuver under muddied crawl spaces, and even crawl under perfectly placed wood beams. For the most part, it's pretty uneventful. That's why when Abby shimmies through the drywall and a clicker bursts through, you can't help but jump out of your seat. Caught off guard and with little to defend yourself makes this moment one you can't forget. In The Last of Us Part Two, the Seraphites hold their own when it comes to making you quiver. Their deranged ideals, scars on their face, skills with arrows, and willingness to do anything for their cult makes them one enemy you prefer to avoid. When Abby, Lev, and Yara are being chased by the Seraphites, the dark environment makes anticipating your enemy a chore. Feeling vulnerable, with limited light, no weapons, the raw sound of twigs breaking, and Abby's breathing makes you fear whatever is lurking out there. After Ellie and Dina wreak havoc in a WLF post at a news station, the two find themselves being pursued by their foes and faced with having to escape quickly. The pair finds themselves running in subway tunnels surrounded by contagious spores, clickers, runners, and bloaters. Although it's more terrifying for your enemies who are attracting the infected, thanks to you, one wrong move can mean the end for Ellie. It also doesn't help that the reddish hue of this level gives a hellish vibe. It's no surprise that combating a horde of infected would make this list, because the only thing worse than facing off against one infected is taking on a whole army of them, and that happens early on. While making her way to the ski lodge, Abby encounters a horde that seems to have endless numbers of infected coming from every corner, even buried under the snow. While trying to escape unscathed, there are countless moments that make this encounter too close for comfort. It's only unfair that the scariest moment of The Last of Us Part Two takes place at ground zero of the infection. Abby's venture to the abandoned breathing grounds of the Cordyceps infection has players encountering eerie moans of the undead, creakings of the walls, and a strange ghostly feeling of the horrors of the past. Just when you think it can't get worse, it does when you encounter the monstrous Rat King, an infected abomination made up of clickers, bloaters, runners, and whatever this is. It's grotesque, disgusting, and definitely sends chills up your spine. 